plus COVID-19 and Tucson's homeless population, how it could lead to dangerous drug withdrawals for those at risk. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos, Pat is working remotely. Activists and a Tucson City Council member are working to make a powerful drug antidote more available to those facing withdrawal. Nine on your sides, Craig Smith reports on those efforts. At a time where more people are sheltered at home and seeing less of the world, it's even easier to not see the people who have no home. But the homeless can experience some extra consequences of COVID. Tucson Council Member Steve Kozacek says COVID presents an extra danger to the homeless. Some of them are addicted to drugs, but since coronavirus, the price of street drugs has zoomed up. Homeless people can't afford them, and they go into an uncontrolled withdrawal that can kill them. A really immediate and important goal is to get naloxone out on the street so that uh, when people in shelters uh, or police officers come across somebody who's detoxing, they can literally save a life by giving them a dose of naloxone. Naloxone, or Narcan, is best known as an antidote to opioid overdose, but it can block the possibly deadly effects of uncontrolled opioid detox. The Federal National Institute on Drug Abuse says opioids and COVID can interfere with breathing, and hygiene challenges combined with poor health care make it easier for coronavirus to spread through the homeless community. Kazachek says because homeless may live out of sight in secluded areas, he's working with shelters and assistance organizations that may find someone locked in a dangerous detox before police or ambulance crews. We have a lot of people doing outreach out into washes and into uh, some of the uh, encampments. And so it's really important that they have the access to this, to this antidote uh, for when they do come across somebody who's detoxing. And that could help head off another way COVID can kill. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.